Hi guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, we look into how to create card flip. So basically, this is similar to create like a flash card. Say when I click on a button, it's going to flip the card. And um, when I click again, it's going to flip back to the front card. So it's like uh, back and the front card. Okay, so um, here we're going to use this uh, library. It's called React Card Flip. And um, this is all the code that um, we can actually try to uh, use this in a minute. And you can see that um, the weekly download here is around uh, 3000. So without further ado, let's get started. So here I'm going to create like a new um, React application here. So you can see that uh, there's only like one text saying hi. And um, this is what you can see. Uh, we have React DOM, React, and this is the card flip. Uh, also we render it here and what is rendered inside the re return here is just saying hi. Okay, so now um, let's have a look on how to do with the code on this website. So first we need to install this uh, library by doing um, this command using npm. I'm going to stop this terminal and copy it and paste it here. Alright, so now this library has been installed and what we can do, we can um, just import um, the library here. So what I can just put it right here and then see what's inside. So you can see that the sample code right here, they are using um, previous uh, with the constructors and everything uh, with the super as well. So we are not going to use this kind of code because uh, right now React supports React hooks and we will convert this code into React hook. So um, what I can do, I need to declare the flip is flip. Uh, by default, it's going to set it as four. So um, right here on top of the return, I can just do like const and it's going to be is flip. And I set this is flipped to using the use state. And by default, I set this as false. So it looks something like this. And next step here, I need to create a function called uh, handle click. So I need to copy this. Uh, so before that, I need to create inside a constant. And then we can do something like um, set the is flipped. So I can just use the set is flip here. And inside here, I can just do like um, is flipped. Basically, um, when we click on this uh, button, say in this case it's the button, it's going to flip the card back and forth. So I can just use this is flipped. And now we have already declared the um, function. So inside the return, we're going to copy this code right here. So it's going to be here. And then uh, the thing is that uh, we don't have this. We can just use diff tagged. It's for styling basically. So we don't have that. And see what else so this is not react hooks we don't need this dot date and this is is flipped so for this we don't need the keyword if so that we can just use this um, function directly the same as this one as well and yeah i think we should be good to go so now let's try that and um, see if we get this up and running. Oh, so the reason is that I won't start the npm start. So we're going to start a server and see if we actually get the result that we want. 
All right, so it seemed to work fine. So let's see if it's actually working. I click to flip the card. So you can see that the card is actually flipping. The thing is that um, we don't have the styling uh, defined. So that's why we see nothing. So here I can just do the styling directly from inside the div tag. So the front here should be, I just set the background color to um, say this one should be green color. So I just set this to green. And for the the back of the card, I set this to red color. So it looks something like this. Yep, I just need to set the height of the card to, let's see, height to 100, which is the same as this one as well. And now let's see if um, we got something we want. Okay, so that seemed to work fine. What I need is to change the, the text color. So I can just use color equal to, in this case, we want white. So the hexa, the code is this one. Make sure that we use this. Um, or we can just do something like white, but um, just want to make it consistent with this above one. Now let's see. All right, so the text now change. Next step here is to center this vertically and horizontally. So we can just use display flex and then set the I should you justify content center also with the align items equal to uh, center as well. So it would look something like this. And now let's go back and see. So here it is. It now aligns the center of the card. The same with the second card. So I just need to paste it here with a comma as well. So this would look something like this. And um, yeah, uh, what I can do next here is to actually change uh, the text to see what the content is. So in the front card, I just say something like, I can change this to how do you define the meaning of success something like this and then the back of the card would be something like maybe working in a IT industry or just made something interesting create um, video tutorial on YouTube all right, so now I have already changed the text and see how does it reflect on the website. So see here, here you can see um, the question is how do you find the meaning of success? Then I click on this uh, click to flip. So here you can see that create um, video tutorial uh, on YouTube. So you can see that the direction of flip, uh, card flips is in uh, vertical mode. So here you can see that the flip direction is vertical. So see if uh, we got some the properties that we can change. So you can see that here um the flip direction. We have two options here. So either horizontal or vertical. So I'm gonna use this as well to see how it look like. So we just need to replace it here. All right. So now see what the style look like here. So that how you can see this the um, horizontal animations. Okay, so I think um that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So I hope that uh, you learn something from using this library. It's kind of interesting to have like flip card. So in the next video, we look into some things um, more interesting. 
see you guys in the next video